This will be the first time the Fortis is being used in a first responder situation. It's also the first time it's being used with the jaws of life, a 35-pound tool used to pry open the doors of crashed cars. It's the perfect place to see the Fortis exoskeleton. Designed by a team of engineers at Lockheed Martin, Fortis is an aluminum and carbon fiber frame exoskeleton with two mechanical arms designed to give tools a zero-gravity, weightless feel. It lets workers in a variety of industries wield heavy tools for hours on end. The lady wielding this tool is Trish Elker. She's the head of the Fortis design team. It's very lightweight. It's very easy to put on. It's very adjustable to adjust from piece body type to my body size. Right, so it's one size will generally fit all. After the Guardian guys get our test vehicle positioned, they'll deliver a tailor-made emergency situation. Very exciting. Have we taken bets on what's gonna get destroyed besides the car? Here we go. Oh! This will be the first time the Fortis is being used in a first responder situation. It's also the first time it's being used with the jaws of life, a 35-pound tool used to pry open the doors of crashed cars. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. Awesome. Nicely done, That's Kate. That's how they work. It may look simple, but making an exoskeleton that's a help and not a hindrance is a deceptively difficult engineering task. That it's designed to adjust and fit any sized person only makes it more so. Anthropometry is the measurements of the human body. Mm -hmm. Everybody's anthropometry is different. Your knee may be higher or shorter than mine. Uh -huh. You know, your thigh is longer or shorter. Everything's going to be unique. No two people are the same. Uh -huh. And so that's why the system has to be so adjustable. It has to be able to accommodate all those different anthropometries. I guess creating an interface between man and machine is what cyborgs are all about. 